Hi, Lori. Congratulations on your retirement from AED. It is well deserved, and I hope that you find rest and comfort in whatever is coming next in this phase of life for you. I just wanted to thank you for all you've done to support deacons across the church, and specifically for your leadership at AED over your tenure as its executive director. Because of your strength and leadership, AED is better positioned now than ever in the past to advocate for the ministry needs of the diaconate and ensure that deacons have a voice in the bigger picture of the church. I was proud to stand next to you as AED's president for a couple of years as we worked to shape the future of the organization. I was sad that I wasn't able to complete that work with you due to COVID, but I knew that no matter what, your steady hand and sharp dedication would continue despite the disruption that life handed us both. I wish you all the best as you enter this new phase of your life and being. May God grant you peace and serenity in all you do and are in God's great creation. Peace. Oh, I think um, it's been through Lori's perseverance, collaboration, and her passion for justice, and passion for justice for deacons especially, that um, has enabled the AED to, to move forward. Thank you, Lori, for your passion, for your, for your passion for justice, for your collaboration, and for your perseverance as the AED Executive Director. Love you. Bye-bye. Hi, Lori. I wanted to thank you for all that you have done for the diaconate. I remember when I was a postulant and on Anglo Deacons trying to figure everything out and you wrote me a couple of wonderful long emails that helped guide the future deacon I would become. Thank you for that. And thank you for all these years of service as the executive director of AED. You have provided a degree of professionalism that we desperately needed. You helped make sure that we had people who were staffing us really were experts in their field and to help make sure that we had a strategic plan that our, we had focus in the direction we were going. I cannot say enough for what you've done with our work with the church pension group. That has really been life-changing for so many people, as is your work for general convention and all the different aspects, all your talks with different um, diocese about the diaconate program. I know that as you retire and you deserve a long rest right now, you will probably find yourself called back to help the diaconate once again in ways that we cannot imagine. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the future. But for now, my friend, rest. Take it easy a little bit. Enjoy some time off. You've been working very, very hard these past few decades. It's time now to smell the roses, play with your family, and do something really different. Because life is precious as you are. And may God hold you in the hollow of his hand as the wind is always at your back. Peace, my friend. Love you. I want to add my voice to all of those wishing you well as you leave AED and move on to the next part of your journey. You know, your tenure as our executive director has marked a real maturing of AED as a professional organization. When we hired you, it was the first time we'd ever done a real search, like with reference checks and interviews. And you brought so many gifts and a deep experience of the diaconate. Thank you for all that you've done for AED, for helping us improve our financial footing and for strengthening our relationships with other organizations like CPG and the Fund for the Diaconate and DOTEC. Thank you for your passion for deacons and for diaconal ministry, for your ongoing advocacy, and for all of your encouragement. I wish you peace and all good as you move forward. Many blessings, Lori. Hi, Lori. I hope you feel a lot of love coming to you from all over this virtual room. Thank you for all you've given to AED 
and all the passion and effort that you have poured into making things better for deacons now and for those who will come after you. AED is in a great position to step into its next chapter, and we owe so much of that to your efforts. Personally, I feel it's been a gift to work with you. Thank you, Lori. We are all so grateful for your presence and ministry among us. 